Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to complete a number sentence to represent a property of operations and to represent equivalent number facts. Let's learn first the properties of addition. The first property is the commutative property of addition. Changing the order of addends doesn't change the sum. For example, 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3. We just change the order of the addends, but their sums are the same. 3 plus 5 is 8, and 5 plus 3 is 8. Another one. 8 plus 6 equals 6 plus 8. 8 plus 6 is 14, and 6 plus 8 is 14. Property number 2. Associative property of addition. Changing the grouping of addends doesn't change the sum. Let's have 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 2 plus 3 plus 4. In the first number sentence, 2 and 3 are grouped. And in the second sentence, the group was changed to 3 plus 4. Though the grouping of addends are changing, but it doesn't change the sum. So 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4. And 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 2. So 5 plus 4 is 9. And 2 plus 7 is 9. Another one. 4 plus 6 plus 5 equals 4 plus 5 plus 6. The group of addends are changed. But their answers are still the same. 15. Property number 3. Identity property of addition. The sum of any number and zero is the number itself. So any number added to zero, the result will be the number itself. 7 plus 0 is 7. 0 plus 23 equals 23. Property number 4. The inverse property of addition. A number added to its opposite or additive inverse results in zero. So 5 plus negative 5 equals zero. 9 plus negative 9 equals 0. Again, the four properties of addition are commutative property of addition, associative property of addition, identity property of addition, and inverse property of addition. Let's try! Identify the property of each number sentence. Associative property of addition. Commutative property of addition. Inverse property of addition. Identity property of addition. Now, let's complete the following number sentence. Zero. Three. Eight. Four. Now, let's learn the properties of multiplication. The first one is the commutative property of multiplication. Just like addition, changing the order of factors doesn't change the product. 
So 3 times 5 equals 5 times 3. The results are still the same. 15. 8 times 6 equals 6 times 8. The results are the same. 48. The second property is the associative property of multiplication. Changing the grouping of factors doesn't change the product. 2 times 3 times 4 equals 2 times 3 times 4. The products are the same, 24. 4 times 6 times 5 equals 4 times 5 times 6. The products are the same, 120. The third property of multiplication is the identity property of multiplication. The product of any number and 1 is a number itself. So 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 23 equals 23. When the number is multiplied by 1, the property is identity property of multiplication. The fourth property is zero property of multiplication. From the name itself, the product of any number and zero is always zero. So 5 times zero is zero. Zero times 23 is zero. The fifth and the last property of multiplication is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. A number multiplied by a sum is the same as multiplying each added separately and then adding the products. Just like 5 times 2 plus 3 equals 5 times 2 plus 5 times 3. Remember that when we have these two operations, the property is distributive property of multiplication over addition. So the five properties of multiplication are commutative property of multiplication, associative property of multiplication, identity property of multiplication, zero property of multiplication, distributive property of multiplication over addition. Let's try! Identify the property of each number sentence. Associative property of multiplication. Commutative property of multiplication. Distributive property of multiplication over addition. Zero property of multiplication. Identity property of multiplication. Now, let's complete the following number sentence. One. Three. Zero. Last part is to represent equivalent number facts. To represent equivalent number facts, equivalent number facts show different ways to represent the same total or answer. Just like this. What number will be added to 4 to make the sum as 6 plus 3? Since 6 plus 3 is 9, 
What number will we add to 4 to make the sum 9? Very good! It's 5. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Another 1. 10 minus blank equals 8 minus 3. Since 8 minus 3 is 5, what number will be deducted from 10 to make the difference 5? 5. Another 1. Since 3 times 2 is 6, what number will be multiplied by 6 to make the product 6? Very good! It's 1. Another 1. 20 divided by blank equals 10 divided by 2. Since 10 divided by 2 is 5, what number will be divided from 20 to make the quotient 5? 4. Activity time! Fill in the correct number in the number sentence and connect to its correct property of addition. Here are the answers. Activity number 2. Fill in the correct number in the number sentence and connect to its correct property of multiplication. Here are the answers. Activity number 3. Identify the property. Here are the answers. Activity number 4. Fill in the missing number to make equation true. Here are the answers. Always remember, there are four properties of addition such as commutative property, associative property, identity property, and inverse property of addition. We have five properties of multiplication. The commutative property of multiplication, associative property, identity property, zero property, and distributive property of multiplication over addition. And to represent equivalent number facts, Equivalent number facts show different ways to represent the same total.